Jared Polin fro knows photo.com and this picture today is a really special and meaningful picture to me it is a photo of Adam Duritz from the Counting Crows it's the very first concert I ever photographed okay so this was during the film days that's why you don't see any setting information down below because this is a scan that I had done after the show and let me tell you the date this was October 12th 2002 and I was shooting with uh, two bodies I had an F5 and an N90S Nikon shooting with an 18 to sorry 18 <laughs> that didn't exist then with a 80 to 200 2.8 which was my go-to lens it was the ED version the second one uh, two, two touch if that means anything to anybody and on the other camera I put a 16 fisheye I am pretty sure so I know you know what I didn't have the fisheye I had a 20 millimeter wide angle so back then the 20 millimeter was pretty wide so how did I shoot this show what film did I use use not used yeah it could be used I used a, the Fuji press 800 and you know that was the go-to film for low light shooting it was better than anything that Kodak had and it was pretty much the, the the film that every news photographer or sports photographer or concert photographer used um, used to buy it in bricks of 20 and it used to cost us about 90 bucks we would have it shipped in 20 rolls of 36 Fuji 800 press I used to keep it in the refrigerator and that is what I used now how did I get my settings I really didn't know what I was doing. I was going by feel here, and what you'll notice when you shoot wide angle at an event like this or at a concert where there's a lot of stray light is that your meter gets thrown off and you end up seeing two thousandth of a second, one thousandth of a second, when you know that that's not even possible because the subject is pretty damn dark. So what's going on there is the, the, um, the lights are throwing off your meter which is causing your shutter speed to be really high or really fast which means that you're not letting in enough light to expose for the subject but what happens when you use a tighter lens a zoom lens is that you're not getting any stray light coming in from the other lights so you're getting more of a true reading so that's where I started off when shooting concerts I would leave it on aperture priority and let the camera do the best that it could do because I didn't know any better uh, also now I know that you could switch to spot metering when you're shooting wide angle which will meter for the subject and not for the lights I also now shoot in manual most of the time I get my settings right or close to where I know that they should be and we have a better ability to do this now because we have the back of the screen and we have histograms to look at live um, back then we didn't you played it by feel and you just watched your meter and I know to compensate when the lights change. If they get brighter, I can bump my shutter speed to compensate or my aperture. If they get darker, I know that I can, um, I can open up a little more. Uh, if I'm already at 2.8, I can lower my shutter speed to let in more light. So there's, there's a lot of give and take when it comes to getting your exposures right. And I'm going to put up a full low light photography guide pretty, pretty soon. Well, I guess it depends on when you're watching this. It could already be up, but most of you people watching in and around June 2nd of 2010, it should be up in the next week or so. I've been working hard at that. Um, so, Fuji Press 800, very good film. Now, it's kind of funny because who shoots shows at 800? I mean, who does that now? We've got the ability to shoot at 1600, 3200. Me, I can shoot it. 5,000. I like to shoot at 5,000 for shows. But really, this was the first concert I ever shot. Uh, technically, the first band I ever shot was the Graham Colton Band, and I am still in touch with Graham now, uh, as he was the opener for the Counting Crows that night. But I really had a great time that night. Uh, you may wonder how I got into the show. I made a lot of phone calls. I called the venue. I told them that I was shooting for a newspaper, which you always need an affiliation. If you don't have an affiliation, they're not going to let you in to shoot. 
Uh, they told me who to call at the at the you know the right channel. The right channel then called the PR person for the band, and I was all set with a photo credential for my very first show, shot at the Leah Cora Center, which is on Temple's campus in Philadelphia, PA, and that pretty much is it. So there you go. That's my very first concert. Adam Duritz of the Counting Crows. I am Jared Poland. Fro knows photo.com talk to you all soon see ya wonder what he did that for